Aries. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, the Hottie Life YouTube channel. It feels really good to be able to sit here, to be able to shuffle cards, to pull charts and see the messages that spirit has for you at this time. Of course, the timing of this video is marked for October, but if you are watching from the future, please allow yourself to be divinely guided, to be divinely led with perfect divine timing, okay? So spirit, so guides, what messages do you have for Aries right now? What messages do you need them to hear? What guidance? and insight can you give to them right now? So Aries, first and foremost, we have Four of Swords Reverse and Ace of Wands Upright. I just heard the word, the journey is done. This chapter has been marked completed. And I'm getting a vision of someone slowly closing a book. Emphasis on the slowly closing of the book. And I'm also hearing um, this message. It's like a, I hear marked chapter. It's a marked chapter. It's, it's, it, it's giving me Akashic Records vibes. This is where spirit is saying that there is a karmic cycle that Aries, Sun, Moon are rising, that you are closing in the Akashic Records, in your karma, in your fate. As you are slowly closing it, I'm getting a breeze. Um, as I'm getting that breeze, I think, okay, my first thought is to ask, okay, where is this breeze coming from? It's a distant window. And it feels like you're up in a tower. It feels like you're up in a tower somewhere. Um, why is this so significant, Aries? Well, I just feel, um, and there's this emphasis on the throat chakra and the heart chakra. Aries, I feel like for quite some time, you've been pulled away from certain people, certain things, certain situations that for your own highest and greatest good, but for the most part, it, it it's you learning how to use your voice it's you learning how to speak up it's you learning how to speak with conviction or to know when to speak and when to be quiet because i do feel areas in imbalance i feel like sometimes you guys are those that are watching this video now sometimes when you speak up you you understand how powerful your words are and you do come from a space of love for the most part but sometimes the way that the message gets delivered or sometimes how you say things or sometimes who you're saying it to, it's the wires get crossed, right? And that can create a lot of confusion. That can create a lot of uh, discomfort, discord. Some of you guys are so notorious for, well, I'm speaking the truth. I'm telling the truth. And um, if I rub someone the wrong way, then I'm rubbing them the wrong way. I don't know if you guys saw that, but my wisdom, higher wisdom candle just popped. So spirit is definitely here speaking with us and speaking to you directly now. So Aries, you are closing out this chapter in your life because honestly, there have been some relationships and some situationships, some, circun some circumstances that I'm hearing that were put on the chopping block. They were hung up, meaning that because of what you said, how you said it, and how you debated it, how you were deliberating, you know what I mean? Then that's what kind of chopped this up into like, you like mince it. Sometimes you guys have a word, Spirit is telling me the words mince. You guys, you, you, mince, you mince it up and you're learning now, or you have learned when to speak, what to say, and when not to say it. Because there is this really strong emphasis on the lesson of, the power of your words. Yes, you can be a, a messenger of truth. Yes, you can tell someone what they need to hear. Yes, you can speak up. Yes, you can advocate, advocate, advocate for others. Yes, you can be a leader, but it's how you say things. It's how you say things, the way you say things that's going to make the largest impact or create disorder and dysfunction. And you could really chop yourself chop what it is that you're actually trying to help or chop yourself in again your words or the 
what you say or what you are not allowing yourself to say, okay? Um, there is this really strong connection to the heart and the throat can the throat chakras they're connected right so this is telling me clearly that this is coming from a space of higher love and higher 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 vibration and you do have pure intention but intentions can be misconstrued if the words that we're saying how we're saying it is not aligned and this is what i'm hearing the misfire okay so also there's this message here of things that for some of you guys Aries there are some things that you kind of swallowed yep with the devil card here for some of you guys there are certain things that you may have swallowed some truth that needed to be said but you didn't want not not that you didn't want to ruffle feathers but there's a, a short temper here a short fuse so when you see and when you feel like things aren't going to you know, things aren't going to work out or things aren't going to pan out the way that you would have wanted them to or the way that they should have, you know, that you deserve better. Sometimes instead of working it through and pushing past it, you kind of lock up or you dip out. You just disappear. You're gone. You ghost. You, you know, set it on fire and you just fly away. And Spirit is saying, listen, as, as, strong as you may feel like you are in those moments you are not allowing yourself the chance to speak your heart to speak your truth and to allow people to hear that because it makes a difference not only in the situation but it makes a difference for you it makes a difference in your reality it makes a difference in that relationship it makes a difference for that other person so spirit is saying we want to kind of with this karmic cycle that's being released um, and this, this um, you know, chapter that's slowly being closed, I feel, give yourself some time to kind of reflect on all of what needs to be said, all of what has been said, and you'll know intuitively exactly what it is that I'm talking about, all of what needs to be said, all of what was said, and how do you complete that? How do you close out this chapter do not rush forward with this aries really honestly take your time take your time with this do not rush forward with this because there is a lot of healing that you will gain a lot of abundance why abundance because your heart and your throat are going to open up they're going to open up when you allow yourself the opportunity the chance to get the message right and delivered this time now let me tell you this some messages some text messages some things that need to be said will not actually be delivered physically either because that person that situation that circumstance is gone it's already moved on to its own its own path its own process but aries i want you to understand how the spiritual realms work and where intention comes from and energy how energy works right so even though that circumstance that person that situation may have already happened may have already occurred and in your mind you may look at this as a lost cause the reality is is that energy the heart the intention will always speak up it will always carry forward it will always have a message delivered and that doesn't mean that you have to physically send a text message um, to someone from the past or from for an old job or something. It just means that when you are reflecting on what you've learned so far, all the things that you've said, all the things that you've needed to say, all the things that need to be expressed from the heart, from the throat, write them down on a letter, write it down on a letter and send that message out meaning you can bury it, you can burn it, you can rip it up, you can flush it down the toilet, you can write it in a journal. But the point is, Aries, is that a message needs to be spoken, it needs to be heard. This is going to be what Spirit is telling me with this devil card here. This is going to be Spirit's way and your higher self and your guides advocating you, advocating for you and making you powerful, making you capable, 
They are rallying for you. They are fighting for you. We do not want, they're clearly saying this, we do not want you closing out this chapter without having had this closure. We, it's not, I just feel honestly, it feels like Aries Spirit is telling you that you wouldn't even be able to close out this chapter as much as you want until you speak your truth, until you speak your heart. Again, Aries, please don't get this misconstrued. This does not need to be an actual physical text message that needs to be said, said or sent. Wow, wait till you see these. Yeah, this does not need to be a physical text message that needs to be said or sent. It's just the energy, the act of expressing it. However, if you are hearing this message and you understand that you know, you should send a text message or you should send a phone call or you should send an email or you should put yourself out there because this is the time, then that's what needs to be done. And I'm also getting um, the vision of a dove. So making sure that whatever it is that you're about to say, whatever it is that you're preparing to say, again, look at all of it. Look at all of what needs to be said and tap into the heart on such a deeper vulnerable space a heart open space that can be really tough to get that message apart get get that message across but it needs to be done okay and that's where you're really going to challenge yourself now what cards just jumped out for you guys my love the fool card again i meant it when i said that spirit is clearly saying that you are closing out a chapter in your life and starting fresh you guys you have nine of swords and you also have nine of wands these are things burdens barriers obstacles weight that you've been holding on your heart from the things that you have not been speaking the things that you have not said or looking back if you actually allowed yourself some of you guys won't even allow yourself to tap into this queen of cups energy right here to admit the fact that, you know what, if I was still unstable, you may have some level of regret for what you said, how you said it, or what you didn't say. And Spirit says, close out this chapter so that you can be free again, so that you can be light, so that the, the, the weight that's in your, in your heart, on your mind, on your energy, no matter where you go, don't carry that energy with you. You can run from here to there, but it will still be on your conscious. It will still be in your energy. So close out that chapter. And this is exactly what it is that I'm talking about, my loves. We have the Queen of Cups here. She says, speak from the heart. Really dive into your intuition. Really dive into your feelings. Really dive into being vulnerable and transparent about what needs to be said, what needs to be felt, and express that in a way that is thorough, mature, and precise. What is this going to create for you guys? This is going to help you to harmonize and to align with the higher, the highest vibrations, you guys. And this is the next thing that is that I'm seeing you guys manifesting with the Two of Cups. It's true, 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 true blessing. Okay, now I wanted to shuffle for Aries from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck, which I just picked up from Denise Lynn. Let's see what... This, oh, this one wants to jump out. Oh my goodness. Maple spirit, generosity. So this is all about your ability to give. But also, I feel with generosity, there's this pouring, this heart pouring that you are going to tap into. And something about the red, well, a lot of this red is standing out to me. It gives me so much root chakra realness this is about how you have felt unsafe with speaking your truth or moving from your heart sometimes because you might have been punished when you speak your truth so there could be a defense clearly with this nine of wands card there is a defense and even some anxiety that may spark whenever you are called to speak your truth and spirit is allowing you to reset the balance and reset that order and reset that false belief, that fallacy that says, if I speak from my heart, if I speak the truth, I have to do it this way 
only or it's not safe for me to do so. And with this generosity card standing up for you, it says, listen, you can tell the world what you need, what you've been feeling, what you've been thinking, what you desire, what you, where you're headed, where you're going, what your intentions are, what you're manifesting without without having to confront any repercussions for that, any punishment from that. This world is a very is a very generous place. And if you are open to speaking your truth, speaking your truth from your heart, you will be very, very surprised how much people will come forward for you, advocate for you, give to you, support you, protect you, hug you, nurture you, lift you, carry you, just by you being generous and speaking from your heart, from your heart place. I hope that this message makes sense, Aries. Please um, be strong, be courageous, and be kind to yourself, definitely, and to be kind to others with whatever it is that you're going through right now. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And if you need to tap into any magical items, goodies, candles, herbs, oils, all of that, fixed or otherwise, you can find that at bahadilife.com slash shop. And the links for that will be down below. I'm also not offering any readings at this time, so be mindful of those scammers who are in the comments um, connecting through WhatsApp. That's not me at all. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.